Hi guys, today I'd like to give you a tour of one of my cosy mystery shelves and I'm going to start with Pies and Prejudice by Ellery Adams and I love this, this book. It's a charm pie shop mystery as you can see and the cover is just beautiful. The next book I'd like to show you is Knit One Kill Two by Maggie Sefton and it's a knitting mystery series. This is another awesome cover, it's really really gorgeous. The next book up is Requiem for a Miso and it's by Corolla Dunn. Uh, Corolla writes a wonderful mystery series and I have, as you'll see now in a minute, quite a few of her books. The next one by Corolla is Death at Wentwater Court, another daisy, another daisy mystery. Sticks and Stones, again, another daisy mystery. The Winter Garden Mystery. These are all, they all have lovely color, covers. Gone West, a Daisy mystery. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this surname. Murder on the Flying Scotsman. I love any books about trains, but I love the color of the cover of this book. You can see the blood flying off the top of the train here. And the next book is Damsel in Distress. Again by Corolla Dunn. Dead in the Water by Corolla Dunn. Rattle His Bones by Corolla Dunn. Mistletoe and Murder by Corolla Dunn. Fall of a Philanderer by Corolla Dunn. Then An Appetite for Murder by Lucy Burdett. This is book one in the Key West mystery series. Food mystery, food critic mystery series, I should say. Then we've got Murder is Binding. And this is the first book in um, the, oh, I want to say the, the Book Town mystery series, sorry. Then we have another Book Town mystery. And this is the book plate special. And look at this gorgeous cover. And the next book in this series is Chapter and Hearse. And it is, I love the detail in these books, in this series, it's gorgeous. Then we have Booked Marked for Death. And it is by Lorna Barrett. Or Barrett, should I say. And it includes recipes. Don't you just love when a mystery series does that? <laughs> or is that just me? <laughs> A Haunted Bookshop Mystery, and this is by Cleo Coyle, writing as Alice Kimberly, and this is The Ghost and the Haunted Mansion. Again, a great series. Next up we have Cleo Coyle writing the Coffee House Mystery Series, and this is Through the Grinder. And they, if you love coffee, then you are going to really, really love this series, because there's recipes at the back as well. And this is Latte Trouble. There's a play on words there by Cleo Coyle again. And here we have Decaffeinated Corpse by Cleo Coyle. Then Murder Most Frothy. These covers are lovely as well. If you weren't craving coffee beforehand, you will when you're finished reading these books. Um, a Coffee House Mystery on What Grounds by Cleo Coyle. If Books Could Kill by Kate Carlyle and this is uh, a Bibliophile mystery series and it is really great as well. Next book up is Joanne Fluke, The Cherry Cheesecake Murder and it's a Hannah Swanson mystery series. Here we have Joanne Fluke again with The Lemon Meringue Pie Murder. Then we have Jacqueline Winspear, Pardonable Lies, um, Maisie Dobbs mystery series and there's another book in that series and it's called Maisie Dobbs. It's the very first book in that series. And then we have Charlene Harris, A Touch of Dead. And that's about all from that shelf that I have to show you for today, but there will be loads more in the next few days um, to show you. Hope you have a great day. Hope you'll subscribe down below and click like. And thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.